So welcome again to Exceed Connection 2012. I'm here with my pal Mike Yulin from Talit. And Michael, first of all, tell us what's going on. Well, it's a really exciting time in the M2M, and uh, this is one of my favorite events of the year. But one of the things I love about Exceda is they're really, uh, really, I would say, forward-leaning. And they're really bringing in a lot of customers, like Fortune 500 com customers that might have been wired before and doing wireless now. So I really love to see all the applications here at Exceda. But you know, bigger than that, there's a lot of things going on in the M2M space. We're really busy moving customers from 2G connections to 3G connections right now. Well, that's, that's interesting. First of all, let's just talk about where we stand in the marketplace, because there's a lot of telemedicine going on here in this conference. By and large, most people are looking for 3G solutions at this point, right? That's correct, yeah. We're talking to everyone about 3G right now, uh, 4G in the future. But right now, for us, it's, it's primarily 3G connectivity. And then, interesting enough, there's a little CDMA 1X connectivity that's out there because both Sprint and Verizon have said they're going to keep those networks up for 10 years. Excellent. And and what about HSPA? Is it people asking for that migration? Yeah, yeah, HSPA and really the exciting thing is we just came out with an HSPA Plus product. And so this is a 21 megabit download speed uh, product. So it's just amazing the capabilities that where uh, just a few years ago it was a 1 megabit per second. Now we're at 21 megabits per second. So it really opens up a lot of new applications for developers. And and so that's that's kind of interesting because that's kind of says that HSPA is a, a good way for a lot of people to migrate towards LTE because you don't get that price performance in LTE, do you? Not yet, not at the M to M level. We're very early days with LTE from a machine machine communications. Automotive uh, OEMs are looking at LTE very seriously and for them that makes a lot of sense, but there's still kind of a, a price performance trade-off when you look at a 3G versus 4G. Okay, and since you brought up M since you brought up the telematics automotive side of the equation, one of the things you guys are doing right now is you're kind of enabling me to go across the world. You want to talk about how I can uh, experience the equivalent of GPS everywhere? Yeah, sure. I mean, one thing we just we just announced this year is we bought a new uh, company, Navman OEM Wireless, and so they are the first company with a GPS GLONASS combination product. Which, and the exciting thing is, is we all we're always used to just GPS. Well, GLONASS is a kind of the equivalent of GPS, uh, which has been put up by the Russian government. And there are actually some benefits for all of us because what it means is that it could be in your P PND that you use you're going to be able to access multiple satellites a lot quicker, which means that you're going to have improved location and also what they call first time to fix, which means that you can get your location a lot quicker just because there's this GLONASS network that's out there. So just speaking about telematics in general and birds while we're at it on telematics, so Verizon just talked about the fact that they acquired used telematics. You kind of see opportunities going on here in M&A activity? Yeah, I, I think this is going to be the start. I think what you've seen with M to M is a lot of, uh, it's been a fragmented market, it's been uh, a fast growing market, and very large players in our space like Qualcomm and Intel and Verizon and AT&T see the opportunity in this marketplace. So I think you're going to see a lot more acquisitions in the future as people start to try to place their bets and figure out where they're going to make money in the M to M space. And is there a differentiation between like an Ericsson who went on a buying spree earlier and the carriers? Is there like, is it going to be more platform savvy on, on the carrier side? What do you see as being the distinction? Well, I think what the carriers are looking to do is how do they add value besides, besides just providing a, a data pipe? And so that's really what's important to them, is what other value-added services can I provide as a mobile network operator? And so, you know, obviously the Hughes Telematics deal is a great indication of where they're going with that. And AT&T also did their digital life deal that they announced mm -hmm. earlier this year as well. Yeah, I, I, I think you're right. I think that makes a lot of sense. Mike, I really appreciate all your time. Yeah. Thank you so yeah. much. Yeah, thanks, Carl. Great to see you.